to the Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge. It is snowflake day, so we are going to throw a little bit of a party. I guess we're gonna try to at least. Uh, what is he doing? He needs to go ahead and clean this up. And I don't have Enraz in my game. If you guys don't watch all of my videos, because I know some people don't watch every one of my videos, uh, I just posted a Black Widow challenge and I don't have Enraz, so I don't have portrait panel or anything like that. So I can't remember how many Sims are allowed in a household. Is it eight? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe that's a blessing because our girl is pregnant and I don't want her to have triplets. So hopefully that will help out. Can you get up and get out of the way, children? Like, go over here. You want to have a snowball fight? That's fine. Like, you're driving me damn nuts. Uh, what do you want to do? Go to the library. Well, we're going to have you have a snowball fight because everybody else wants to have one. So you're having one too, okay? <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, he's taking a shower and getting ready, which is perfect. And Mama Bear, where are you going, Allie? Oh, you're going to go take a shower? I mean, you don't really need to. But if that's what you want to do, this shirt is killing me. I don't even know. Um, go take a shower in here then if you want to take one so bad. I don't even know how far along she is. But I did play one day off camera to make sure that we were not having lag or anything crazy. Because you guys know um, my game has been running like crap. I took Enraz out, yada, yada, yada. Sorry if I'm repeating myself from the video from yesterday. But like I said, not everybody watches all of my videos, so I just want to kind of, you know, throw that out there. So go ahead and have a snowball fight with your freaking siblings and leave me alone. <laughs> Worst mother ever. Uh, go ahead and use the bathroom. He's eating and, uh, there, oh, there isn't enough flat space to have a fight here. Can we maybe go somewhere else then? I don't know. Let's go ahead and pay our bills. 666. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, greeting is Allie, we're throwing a feast party. Well, screw you, we're about to throw a freaking party ourselves. I don't know if we're actually gonna have space now that I'm thinking of it. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these guys, even though we're gonna need them back immediately, but I'm trying to figure out where we can have space because I don't think we're gonna have space for a gift giving party. Hmm. I really don't think we're going to because The Sims is super picky. We'll go ahead and sell this bed. Uh, that's still not going to be enough space. Like The Sims is super, super picky about... Um, oh, there's a child behind there. That was creepy. Why are we not, why are we not selling this exactly? What's going on? Is there something... Okay, now can we sell it? Okay. Um, maybe now there will... Actually, I wonder... I guess we're going to go ahead and have her throw the gift giving party and see if we can have one. If not, maybe I'll have to clear this out for a moment. Um, I think that's actually what I'm going to do because I feel like we're definitely not going to have space. So let's just kind of clear this room out and we can put everything back. Obviously not the way it was because I will never be able to get it back to the way it was but maybe we'll be able to have the have this gift giving party because i'm telling you like it could be this huge space and the game's gonna be like mm -mm, you don't have room so don't don't even try uh we're gonna do a gift giving party for let's go for 3 p.m and we'll do some casual attire and we're gonna we're gonna buy dad bentley fawn phoenix reed uh let's see we're gonna buy ava dakota Gemma. Kingston, Willow, and then we're gonna have to call Zara because I feel like she's always the one that we forget. Well, we don't forget, but we're just unable to, <laughs> we're just unable to invite her, it seems to be the problem. All right, we're gonna go and listen to cooking and then let her read these guys. Um, Zane from Contessa Cap. I know this might surprise you, but I'm just, I'm just crazy about you. I think we should get together and see what happens. Well, guess what? I don't think that we should. He's like running in the door like, oh God, what are you doing? Oh, discuss favorite TV shows. Okay. Why don't we see if there's anything in the investigator career that we can possibly... He's not even in the way. Hunter, go over here. Okay, is he, is he good? Okay, I think he's I think he's good now. All right, hopefully we will be able to throw this gift giving party because if not, I'm gonna be so frustrated. 
trying to find yourself a good career. I need to get rid of these stupid dolls. Like, all they do is, look, all they do is sit here and play one, two, look, one, two, three, four children. What are you doing? Like, can you not? Uh, interview Mark Davies Wells. Why is it that people are always losing their wallets? I cannot imagine a more important piece of leather. Mark Davies Wells wants to hire me to recover a lost wallet. I should interview Mark for details about the case. All right, we're not going to interview him right now. Uh, actually, you know what? We probably have time to interview him. So we'll interview him and then we'll come back home because the party's not until three. Uh, I want Mama Bear to cook some food and I'm not sure how far along she is in pregnancy because like I said I played I played a little bit off camera to see how the game was running and so far so good but I really hope it's not Enroz because I can't live without Enroz like I can't it's impossible and I don't know what I will do if that is the situation but so far <laughs> it's not bad your gift giving party is going to start soon if you have the room we'll send a pile of gifts for you too. okay I made room in this large house okay thank you <laughs> thank you i was gonna get so upset all right we're gonna put that right in the middle of the room and then we're gonna place down this stuff that is probably nowhere near where it should be but that's fine i don't really care about that uh as long as we have like a place to sit um because you know everybody like fights over seats i'm just gonna kind of put it like this for now because like i said i'm not too not too worried about it because like, we're gonna probably need to do this again at a later date and time. Uh, we could always put a chair over here in the corner as well. Everybody's gonna fight to sit down anyways. Uh, put a lamp right here. We can move it back a little bit. Um, we always put a lamp over here. Just kind of make it a little bit brighter and then we had a little plant which is ginormous I think I'm just gonna sell yeah we're just gonna leave it as that for now at least there's enough space because I was getting a little bit worried because uh, the game likes to be a little bit of a turd okay so he did not go interview the person go figure like big freaking surprise all right we're gonna have her come over here and serve up some what should we have her serve up Mm, let's do some firecracker shrimp. Oh my god, I've been craving shrimp so much recently. I love shrimp so much. I've been watching stupid mukbangs and people with like lobster and, you know, seafood boils and stuff. And I've honestly never had lobster or anything like that. Uh, I really want to, but I've never had it before. But some of these people make it look like it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> okay, let's check up on you. Can you at least maybe come out here and make a snow angel? Maybe we'll let them go somewhere to, uh, the first guest has arrived, perfect. Um, where are you at? We need to call your sister Zara because she is the only one that has not been invited. So, Ava, Gemma, actually did we invite Ava? I don't know if we invited Ava. I feel like, I feel like we did, but maybe we didn't. All right, we're gonna invite Zara over so she is here as well. Okay, looks like the whole family's here. Looks like dad's here. Your shoes! Please change, Willow. Please. Sorry, I don't feel like coming over right now. Okay, well, fine then. Can we... Shoot! I'm trying to do stuff with Enroz and I can't do it. Oh, that makes me sad. I was gonna change her outfit, but I can't, so that sucks. Uh, did I invite you, Walter? I do not think so. Like, who are you... I did not invite you, so if you could not, you know, do that. Okay, can you stop presiding over the royal court? I want to make sure our kids are, like, not doing anything stupid. <laughs> Let me just make sure my kids are not doing anything too dumb. Oh, hi, honey. You're so cute. I love Kingston. He looks just like Zane. All right. Hurry up and cook, because I want to go ahead and have this party. Are you seriously? Oh, Zara is here. Okay, well, she's here. That's fine. Did Ava make it? Okay, perfect. I think everybody made it. Hurry up and finish your food because I really... There we go. I wanted you to get your little wish. There we go. She wants to get ingredients for eggs. Um, let's go ahead and just open presents. Let's do it really quick before everybody starts getting too bored. Uh, excuse me. Mix, like... 
you are so fine. Anyways, <laughs> I would give him black hair though, because, you know, maybe we should save him. But I can't, because Inroz is not here. I miss it already. I am so ridiculous. Okay, everybody get your button in here. We're going to open presents. I'm going to put the firecracker shrimp away so it doesn't get spoiled. Oh, somebody bought, brought mac and cheese, it looks like. Who brought it? Doesn't say, but we'll leave that out. Uh, okay, Bentley, he's like, I'm going to be having some mac and cheese. Look at this household full of purple-headed sims. This is cracking me up. I swear if I don't get a purple, purple-headed sim out of this pregnancy. Purple-headed sim, purple sim and uh, pink-eyed sim. Come on, seriously? Pink eye? Oh, God. No. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Can we? Oh, she was looking at her dad like, oh, I miss him. Okay, open a present. Somebody open a dang present and get something good. Allie, hopefully. Oh, okay, she's clapping. So what'd you get? She got a bike. Awesome. That's actually really cool. All right, she opened a fantastic gift. I love how the Sims truly do not know where to go. Oh, she got an easel. Okay. Who's next? Um, where are you going, Sasha? Oh, she's gonna go get some food. Did we not put that away? Oh, we didn't. Okay, well, she wants to have some food. You're not even hungry. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, Zayn got a freaking Max blah 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 game simulator. Oh my gosh. I kind of hope she gives birth in this part. I don't know how far along she is. Oh my god, you're so cute, Tara. Oh, he got a gnome or something. That is too funny. Brother-in-law, what are you doing? Listening to boasting? Um, okay, I guess she's done with presents. He hasn't... Oh, he got he got a game simulator thing. None of the kids... <gasps> Who are you going to scare? You're going to scare your mother? Bentley! Oh my god! What is wrong with this family? None of the kids opened a gift yet. And Sasha and Hunter just don't seem to care, which is kind of funny. Use the all-in-one bathroom. Are you going to open a present? Okay, okay, one of our kids is going... No? Yes? Griffin, where are you going? Oh, you're... Oh, okay. Miles, are you going to get a present? Like, are any of our children going to get a present? Or is, is that just not going to be a thing? <laughs> Victor's over here in the corner like, why am I here? I don't want to be a part of this family. You, Walter, I don't even know who the hell you are. We didn't invite you, damn ass. Did not invite you. Oh my gosh. You sure know how to throw an awesome party. Yeah, okay, weirdo that we didn't invite. This is cracking me up. This is me at the party. Like, how this is me right here any party that I would ever go to me in the corner everybody else having a good old time chit chat and having fun me on the floor except there would probably be an animal there as well because that would be my entertainment but I feel you Victor I feel you all right lead what you gonna get get anything good oh, he's clapping what'd you get oh it looks like you got like some sort of plant or something okay so I guess Come on, poor Hunter. Or Miles, I mean. Whatever. Okay, Victor got a chessboard. Okay. Okay, it looks like now Miles is going to get a gift. I hope you get something good, honey. You're only... He's clapping. Okay, what'd you get, honey? Oh, he got a bike. Perfect. Oh, my God, that is awesome. Okay, make preferred vehicle. That is so cool. He got a bike. I wish all of our kids would have gotten one, but the other ones ran away and didn't want to be any part of this, which is hilarious, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, we missed you at the party, Allie. Well, you know, it's fine. Okay, do you need something to eat? You're going to work, but we're going to have you come over here and uh, eat some mac and cheese. Zane, you're fine. Well, we're going to have you go interview that uh, that guy. You need to go to the bathroom. Sasha, you're okay. Miles, are you just like opening the last of the presents or what? Okay, it looks like everybody is leaving. But maybe Miles will get something else. Maybe he'll get another bike and he can give one to his sister or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's only those three that are opening presents now. Miles, go get another one. Come on, honey. Go get another gift. Is Bentley getting another one? No. Okay. He's leaving. 
Come on, go open another gift, Miles. Oh, Reed's gonna get another one? Maybe not? I don't know. Everybody's leaving, but they're just kind of sitting here. I was hoping he'd get another gift and, like, maybe get a, uh, get another bike or something. Or maybe get a couple of bikes where he can give them to, him, to his siblings. Okay, he's going back for another. <gasps> What'd you get? Oh, he got a little bear. Okay. I guess he's gonna open, like, the last of them, which is totally fine. Can you... Oh, okay, maybe not. That was it. Alright, so she had an epic party, but, you know, it wasn't the worst, but whatever. Go ahead and use the bathroom, and then we're gonna have you... Uh, grab a plate or a bowl. You need to go to sleep. We need to put the kiddos to sleep. And then I need to work on, um, getting, uh, Zane's, oh, we need to have you go to the bathroom. We need to have Zane work, go interview, wow, <laughs> words, words, go interview really quick. Okay, go to sleep. Did everybody do their homework? I need to make sure. Okay, looks like everybody did the homework. As you can see, their school performance is pretty freaking bad because they skipped school like little turd biscuits. Uh, go ahead and use the bathroom and then we'll let you go to sleep. And we're gonna have him interview because I really want him to interview this guy before I wrap this up. And I was hoping she was gonna have the baby in this part, but I don't know that she's going to but we're like i said we're gonna have him go interview because uh, i still got a couple minutes that i could play and it'd be totally fine so we're gonna have him interview and see what is happening if she doesn't have the baby in this part she is 100 percent gonna have it in the next part so let's just hope that we have the perfect genetic baby because we're gonna have to take a break if i can't get in Roz in my game we're gonna have to take a break for a while which is fine but you know you yeah, know. Is he over there? Okay, it looks like he's at the park. Alright, go get him. Go get him! We need to interview this guy and see what the heck is going on. Alright. He's super juiced. Bro! He is super juiced! Alright, I asked Mark Davy Wells to mentally retrace any footsteps taken over the last few hours. It appears Mark made a brief stop at the beach, which means my first stop will be to snoop for clues there. Uh, ooh, let's do that. Let's snoop for some clues. Go ahead and snoop for clues over there. I did download the festival lot for this world. I have not placed it down, though. Uh, because I started a whole new Sims 3 folder. Uh, and I did find the Roaring Heights festival lot. So I just need to place it down. I didn't even think about doing it. But I do have it. We've made it that far. <laughs> We've made it that far. So hopefully it'll work out. All right, we gotta snoop for clues. And it's super cold outside. Oh my goodness. Oh, where is he? Where is he going? Oh! <gasps> okay, stop everything. Stop everything. You're not snooping for clues. You need to go home. Go home. Go home. Allie is actually having the baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, perfect. I really was hoping she was going to have the baby in this part. Uh, let's see. What are her wants here? Anything? Okay, we got... She wants a girl. Now, while we're following her... Come on, girl. I need to, like, get a hold of you. I need to go back to the last video and see if you guys left me some baby names. And it's going to be a hot minute here. So, sorry if you guys... If this is, like, all over the place. But I'm trying to look and make sure I get you guys as baby names. All right. Let's check it out. Let me see. Hopefully you guys left one on the last video. What the hell is this? What did I do? Okay. Um. Okay. So you guys did not leave any baby names in that last one. Let me try the one before that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, you guys left one on the one before the last one, so we will check that out. Let's see. Boy names and girl names. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any, like, double names here. I think I saw... I saw a couple. Yes. I saw one that has the name twice for a girl. So if we have a girl, I know the name I'm going to pick. But for a boy, nobody picked the same name. Oh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Sorry, guys. Uh, so for a girl, I have a girl name boy name. Let's take a look here. Okay. Um, oh, 
Oh, we had a girl. Perfect, because two people picked the name Finley for a girl. Okay. <laughs> I kind of hope that we only have one, but I also kind of hope we have two. Finley, please be the perfect genetic baby. You are absent-minded and a slob. I can deal with that, I guess. Okay, we only had one. We only had one. Okay. So maybe we are only able to have seven in the house. It has been so long since I actually played with the, you know, right amount of Sims in the household. So, I don't know. Should we, should I make you guys wait until the next part? I think I am. I'm going to make you guys wait until the next part to find out if Finley is the perfect genetic baby. Keep your fingers crossed. Send all of the, the good vibes and the, and the goodness to this household so that we can find out if Finley is perfect genetics, which I am praying that she is because honestly, I don't know how long this, this, this is going to take. I just truly don't. So anyways, on that note, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. Place your bets. Do we think Finley has the perfect genetics? I truly freaking hope so because I don't know how much longer I can go through this. <laughs> So anyways, you guys, leave a like on this video if you guys are enjoying it. Subscribe before you go if you have not already. Also, turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when I upload. I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.